Well, I'm a, I'm a clinician looking after children and families with uh, living with type 1 diabetes and uh, my, a very important aspect of living with diabetes is just, it's just psychological, psychosocial adjustment to it that determines how well you do and determines your outcomes. Every day, every family is struggling with diabetes and uh, it, they have to comply with a very complex treatment program and they need to be adjusted to that and, and how they're feeling about diabetes and how, how they, their emotions around it make a huge, a huge impact on what happens. Technology it offers, offers a lot in terms of getting better outcomes, but it's, uh, it's, at the present time it also has to be managed. It's a lot of information, it can be very confusing for people, and they have to learn how to use them. This was an interesting study because it asked the question as to whether if you give people CGM from diagnosis, or give families CGM from diagnosis, whether that makes a difference to the glucose outcomes and the, and the psychosocial adjustment or whether it makes it worse. So it's, it was an important question to ask. The findings were uh, that uh, it reduced rates of, it reduced levels of hypoglycemia, so the, the, the the children who were given CGM compared to those that weren't were, were hypoglycemic a much shorter period of time and the parents are more confident in managing hypoglycemia. And the other important outcome was the uh, finding that the levels of diabetes distress in the parents were lower when they had the use of CGM. So it did help them. It did help them adjust to diabetes and be more comfortable having a child with diabetes. It certainly is more evidence to, to make us want to, to give CGM to children when they're diagnosed. Because the question we've all been asking ourselves, should we do this or will this make their lives harder? And this gives us a bit more information. We know that diagnosis of diabetes in, in your child is a, is a very stressful period of your life. And uh, parents tell you years later that they, they, they've almost got post-traumatic stress disorder for, for years afterwards. And so you don't want to do something or put an intervention in there that's going to make it worse. So this will make us more comfortable about giving people CGM from the start. That's, that's a tough one. I don't think we know yet how to... Because everybody is in a significant level of distress. They're not, they're not their normal selves when they're diagnosed. So it's, it's very hard to make an assessment at that point. So we need more research to try and help us determine who, who would benefit and who wouldn't.